Hey everyone, Retro Girls UK are back for a brand new episode of Purging the Collection. I've barely touched anything on that side. The side we've been working on this week is up there. So up there was just full of like big box sets that we're never going to watch, like Family Guy, Futurama, uh, etc. Which I'll show you in a second. Before we get into this video, if you're brand new here on our channel and you love physical media and video games as much as we do, then why not hit that like button, consider subscribing, but most importantly, don't forget about that notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it. So as I said in the intro, we were sorting out up there. By the way, while I'm here, let me just show off my Scooby-Doo collection. I'm missing about 13 now. And then I've got my Hanna-Barbera stuff. Don't you just love baby Tom and Jerry? Tom and Jerry collection. That which you would have seen me buy on the last video. So, what? Let me move my sock. What are we trading in this week? Well, let me start off by saying that there is some good voucher in the in this bag and in them as well. But I do feel sorry for the workers because there are so many big boxes inside there and there, as you can see. So we are getting rid of it's too big to grab. Oh my god, where's the as well? Family Guy season one to eleven. Michelle said that she wants to get rid of that because She's never going to get around to watching it, and you can buy it, uh, buy it, and you can watch it on streaming. Same thing with Futurama, the complete collection. She's never going to get around to watching this whole boxer, so she said that she wants to get rid of it, trade it in for a voucher, because she could watch those on streaming. Sex and the City. Oh my god, I can't even grab it. We're getting rid of Sex and the City. Another series that we're not going to get round to watching. Tom and Jerry. Now, you're probably thinking, why are we getting rid of Tom and Jerry when we have a Tom and Jerry collection over there? Well, the reason is because if you see up there, in that Tom and Jerry box that I think it is, the same DVD is in there. So, instead of doubling up, for may as well just get rid of it. So we got Family Guy season 15, Futurama season 5, Futurama season 6. There must be tons and tons of series of Futurama because I think they're still making it, I'm not sure. Futurama season 7. We got Speed 1 and 2. I own these on Blu-ray. I think I've got them on Steelbook as well. Great movies, but I don't need the DVD box set. St. Drinian's collection. We bought this a few months ago from the charity shop. It contains all of those movies, but Michelle said that she may as well just get rid of it because she's never going to get around to watching it. On the buses, the three movie pack. The reason I'm getting rid of this is because I've got the Blu-ray box set there. And the cat nearly fell over. I've got the Blu-ray box set there. So I don't need this on DVD. What shocked me actually about this when I was scanning these movies in and stuff, I cannot believe that this is £8 to buy at CX. This used to be like, what, three, four pounds to buy? But yeah, £4 voucher for that. So that is one to keep an eye out in the charity shops and car boots and stuff. So you get a £4 voucher for that. West Side Story. Another one Michelle said that she's never going to get around to watching. This is, This actually weighs a ton, to be honest with you. Okay, so American Dad, volume one to seven. Michelle said that there were so many of these that she could just, you know, stream them. I mean, they're on Disney Plus, ain't they? I think they're on Disney Plus, yeah. Okay, Looney Tunes. Golden Collection, Volume 6. Now, you're probably wondering, why are we getting rid of Looney Tunes? Well, as you saw at the bottom, 
in that Looney Tunes pack. It actually contains this. So I don't need the double of this. So I may as well just get rid of that. Don't need the double of that. Same with this one. It's in that box set down there. So I don't need the double of this one either. Good, good, good. Hannah Montana season three. I'm not going to watch this, to be honest with you. I think I've just got excited when I've seen it because you don't really see stuff like this out in the wild. And, you know, it's like nostalgia for me. But they're all on Disney+. Plus. Hannah Montana Season 2. A lot of these, actually, at the time of recording, are out of stock. So, if you're after Hannah Montana, these will be in stock at Charmsley Wood. And you've got Hannah Montana Final Season as well. Hannah Montana season one. It's actually a good series to be honest, Hannah Montana, but never gonna be watching them. Okay, so we've got the rest of the family guys. This one's actually sealed, so I do need to unseal this before I go. But season 17 got season 16 as well. <laughs> that cover man. Cracks me up. We got season 13. I mean, I'm not the biggest... I, I don't like adult animation, comedy. You know what I mean? Like Family Guy, America, Dad, Simpson, South Park. I'm not really into that. So I've got no idea how many seasons there is to Family Guy. But, I mean, there's like, what, 17 there? I bet there's way more than 17. They've got to be. Because how popular it is. So we've got Family Guy, season 14. And season 12. Right then, on to the box sets at the bottom. So, I have Lazy Town Collection. This is a really good voucher. I, can, I can't remember um, how much it was. I think it's like £12 voucher or something like that. Probably more. But yeah, I found this in the charity shop about a year ago for a couple of quid. And I used to watch this with my sisters. So, when I saw this in the charity shop, I mean, child at heart. I got so excited, but... Ever since I bought it, I haven't even watched it, so there's no point keeping it if I'm never going to watch it. Horrid Henry's Big Holiday. There was a time in my life where I was actually going for the complete Horrid Henry DVD collection, but because there's so many of them, I just gave up, to be honest with you. So every time I come across Horrid Henry in our collection, I will be getting rid of it, because you do get some decent voucher for some of them. And it was on CRTV, but yeah. Horrid Henry was actually quite good, to be to be honest. Last but not least, we have Shaun the Sheep, complete first season. Now, the reason why Michelle is get, getting rid of this is because she wants it on Blu-ray. But the thing is, um, with season two, even on DVD, I don't know if it's on Blu-ray, but season two of Shaun the Sheep, it is so rare. I don't know if they sell it in CX. If they do, it's probably out of stock. And there's barely any listings of it on eBay. So, yeah, season two of Shaun the Sheep is definitely one to look out for. And we got some still books. Now, you're probably wondering, why are Lisa and Michelle getting rid of still books when they love still books up there? Well, we're getting rid of some of these because we want them on 4K. And at the moment, 3D has actually gone up in price at CX. So the first one is Avengers Age of Ultron. For me, this is probably the best Avengers movie that there is. This one is my favourite. I do need to take them out of the uh, protectors before I go. Wonder Woman. This is the 3D Blu-ray. Now, it doesn't have a J card or like a barcode or anything, but it does have the age ratings. And I know that I think you get £2 voucher for this. My screenshot will probably correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm going to take it anyway. And hopefully that they take it like that. Because I've seen still books at CX much worse than that. I mean, this is like mint condition. It's just no J card. Next one is Dark Knight Roses. This one is just a standard Blu-ray still book. And I want this on uh, 4K. Next one is Suicide Squad. This is actually a HMV order but i didn't buy some hmv i only bought the i bought this from spock i think or facebook marketplace a couple of years ago but i only paid a couple of quid for this it is the 3d blu-ray and i just love the artwork and it is still sealed 
partially. But for some reason, all them years, I just couldn't part ways with this. I don't know what it was. I think it was just the artwork. I didn't even want to unseal it. But yeah, the time has come where I do need to get rid of this because I do already own this on still book, but a different artwork. So there's no point, you know, doubling up. Got to be clever, got to be smart. And also, we need to get those CX vouchers so we can complete my Scooby-Doo collection. I'm about 13 away. Probably look out for some Hanna-Barbera stuff as well, some Tom and Jerry, Looney Tunes, anything like that. And Willow is literally just chilling on my chair. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go to CX, see how much we could get for this, and hopefully they've got some Scooby-Doo's that I need. Church shop and we're picking up All Stars Volume 1, Spongebob Tales from the Deep, but I'm not seeing any Scooby Doo's in here. These might be worth vouchers that I'm going to check. Hey, I'm seeing Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Oh yeah, other than that one, but that's in my What's New Scooby Doo box that I've got the complete series to that. But I want them individually. Oh, I have them individually. <laughs> there, there, Michelle. There, there. Tom, Tom and Jerry, Shiver. oh we got Shiver and Whispers. Hey. Whiskers. Whispers. Oh, whiskers. Whiskers, apparently. Did you get much for Hey Dougie? No, 10 people. Oh, like, if someone wants it, they're like 150 to buy. Yeah, it's not too bad then. Yes, and I am getting the Scooby Doo. So, so we're grabbing some Scooby Doo, some SpongeBob, some Looney Tunes. So we're just outside Bernardo's and we're seeing some more Scooby Doo's. I think I've got that one. No, you haven't. Do I not? No. I'll get that as well. And that, and I know they had more in so. And someone's making some weird ass noises. That one. That's the best one. Do you have that? Yeah, I've got that one. You sure? Yeah, I'm positive I've got that one. What the fuck is going on around here, man? <laughs> Lights, camera mayhem. Oh no, put it on foot. That's when I was going to put up. What's going on? That's only a couple of scratches that are worth. Some more Scooby Doo for the collection, then? No. I has to get that because of five or two quid, so we'll get that if not. That is like minty ish. Actually, no, I won't get that. We'll take these in. Scene. <gasps> we'll oh them. my god! <laughs> oh my god! I wasn't even expecting to see that. I don't even know what I was expecting. I need that in my life. Okay, I'm seeing some Scooby Doo books. Do you want them for the collection? No. Or is it just the DVDs that we're after? Oh, someone's already coloured in it. And we're back. But before I get into like the DVD pickups, I just want to show off these. I went into Powerland, bought myself some Flintstone pajamas. Look how awesome this thing is! There we go. Look at that. And you get some nice shorts of that as well. That was only nine pounds. 
Oh, just look at that tag. Had a barbed hair on them. Oh, yes. Okay, so today's trip to CX. What a stressful time. We had the most slowest worker ever. I hate going into that store and seeing that guy because I know how slow he is. We tried to avoid him, but in the end, there was no choice. He had to serve because he was the only one serving at the time. We must have been standing there for at least between 45 to an hour. I'm not even joking. So stressful. I was like scrolling through Facebook, having a dawdle around the shop, checking the time. Oh my God. He, literally, he just opens them like this. So slow. Like, what planet is he on? Like, oh my days. I was just so happy to get out of there. But we do have some pickups. We've got some pickups from the charity shop. We didn't pick anything up from uh, CX because I oh, just couldn't, man. Couldn't go back. Oh, actually, I tell you, we did buy a 4K, which we took at the same time. Don't know if it's in this pile, actually. Might be in Michelle's bag. But yeah, let's go on with the pickup. So, complete animated series of Captain America. Just had to pick this up from the charity shop. These were in like three for a pound or something like that. So, we got. Captain America, Rugrats, Tommy Troubles, we love our Rugrats, that don't sound too good does it? No, we're, we're fine, we're fine. We are after, oh the box broke, that's why. We are after the complete box set of uh, Rugrats, hopefully we get that soon. On to Scooby-Doo, so we've got What's in Scooby-Doo, Volume 1, Space Ape at the Cape. I do own the box set to this, the complete box set in that van. Which is actually out of stock at CX. It's up there. But, you know, as Michelle said in the clip, sometimes it's just nice to have these, you know, on their own, on the shelf. So we're uh, collecting the singles of what's in Scooby Doo. We also have Volume 8 of Scooby Doo. We've got SpongeBob, Tales from the, oh, Tales from the Deep, Shell SpongeBob Collection, Looney Tunes All Stars Volume 1. Got another Scooby Doo, Volume 9 of What's New Scooby Doo, Flight House on, of the Light, of a Lighthouse. Love What's New Scooby Doo. Got Scooby Doo on Zombie Island, which I realised when we got back that I do actually own Zombie Island. This one, it, oh, was it Bernardo's? Acorns? Something like that. I can't remember what I said. Bernardo's, I think it was. I can't believe I actually came across this. I mean, I just saw the spine and it said kids, Warner Brothers. So to me, I was thinking, okay, so it's like Baby Looney Tunes. I pulled it out. Triple two and treats. You've got Tom and Jerry, Yogi Bear, What's New Scooby Doo. I have never come across this in my life. Don't even know how much this is worth at CX, but... You have some episodes there of Tom and Jerry, Yogi Bear, What's New Scooby Doo? That is definitely going on that Hanna Barbera shelf over there. So we've got a couple more. What's New Scooby Doo Volume 5, Homeworld Bound. I love this one with them pups. So cute. And we've got What's New Scooby Doo Volume 3, Lights, Camera and Mayhem. We also did pick up on 4K, which you would have seen in the clip. Clip. Michelle got on 4K bullet train, which we got from the voucher. I don't have it on me. I think it's in Michelle's rucksack downstairs. So, that is our little trip to Chelmsley Wood. Trading in the stuff that we don't want. A little trip to charity shop on the way. Pick up some scooby doo some Looney Tunes. Can't really complain. So, I am so chuffed for these. So... I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment and share. Don't forget to join us on all our social media accounts. All the links are down below. So stay safe and keep hunting.